Hey guys, it's Paul and I've got our D2 in the back and we are off on another adventure. We are doing the two hour drive down to Portland, Maine and uh, we are going to be on stage with the Portland Symphony Orchestra for their Solar System concert. It's one of their kids' discovery concerts and I'll tell you all about it in just a second. Did rehearsals uh, <laughs> ran to my car so I could get the GoPro and do a little clip here uh, the rehearsal was awesome and uh, our appearance is gonna be actually rather rather short we're gonna be in the lobby for half an hour before the show and then our actual on stage uh, we are at the very end of the Star Wars uh, main theme and uh, I think we're literally on stage for maybe uh, 30 seconds so uh, it's a lot of work for a little bit of stage time but it still makes a big impact on the program so um, I'm going to uh, wrap this clip up and grab some lunch and then it's showtime. So this is the awesome stage and uh, our job is to go from here, hello, <laughs> and uh, drive around here and park up on the stage during the show. Sounds easy, uh, fortunately there's some really thick power cords so if I do go a little too far, um, I'm pretty sure R2 will get tripped up on that. Uh, but we've done this a couple times, so it should go pretty well, but uh, Look at all the stuff out here. I mean, I used to be in band back in the day And I just really want to play with those kettle drums, but I'm pretty sure they won't let me So about an hour to show time Another video clip It's a wrap. I've got them all apart. We're gonna get ready to bring them back to Bangor. Um, due to the, uh, I, you know, I can't record 
where we were in the show and stuff like that, um, due to the rights and, and stuff like that, the licensing. But uh, we had a blast. Uh, we were in the lobby. We were just mob with kids. Uh, we went on the stage uh, after, so the people could get pictures uh, with R2. And uh, well, they, they didn't come on the stage, but you know, they can get pictures of R2 uh, from the uh, from the audience seats, and that was pretty popular. So. We lived through another one. Now the fun part is getting everything buttoned up and the two hour drive home. And then loading, getting everything offloaded once again. So um, the show part is done. Now the journey home. All right, it's the drive home. Two hours of driving, but the show was awesome. Um, some reflections on the whole trip and everything else. I need to invest some time in R2-D2. There are several areas of my droid that need some serious maintenance, uh, perhaps some upgrades. Uh, one thing that comes to mind is the center foot, uh, and I'm pretty sure I know what happened there when we went to the Sea Dogs, the uh, uh, baseball team. Uh, we had R2-D2 driving around on the infield, and I'm quite certain I have probably killed the caster bearings uh, ability to swivel, and they're probably jammed up full of clay again. Uh, not a big job to replace. We're really going to get in there and remove them. Um, I keep noticing that the steel feet have spots of corrosion that I probably got to clear coat or protect or something. Um, it's funny because when I mention to people that ah, I'd like you know, to sand that or beat blast it and repaint it, they're like, no, 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 you can't do that. It looks just like the real one. It looks like it's been through several wars. You, you, no, don't, don't freshen anything up. So... I gotta figure something out anyway, somewhere in between, so I can make sure that I maintain that worn out look that you know, the droids always have, uh, versus not having any real corrosion. So, the other thing that came, uh, reared his ugly head, I guess, a little bit is the drive system. Uh, the drive system is the Jag uh, two-wheel drive, uh, so both belt, the, the belt goes around both wheels, so technically they, they, they both spin. And that's working really well. That's the good news. The bad news is the wheels uh, that are on that drive system, they are newer, but I was having a lot of problems on rugs. So they're either one of two things. Either I am spinning too fast, and maybe I got to program the motors to put out less output, because uh, on smooth surfaces, no problem. You know, I was flying on the uh, stage and other surfaces, but uh, uh, the minute I was on any kind of rug surface, I just kind of stopped dead in my tracks. Uh, combined with the center foot and the castering wheel that sometimes want to cross and catch each other. So, some things I got to look at. The, uh, I can't say enough good things about the people at the Portland Symphony Orchestra. They treat me great. They've been amazing to work with. Um, the performers, uh, you know, I just, if you ever have the opportunity to sit in on a rehearsal for your local symphony orchestra, absolutely do it. It's just amazing what they can do. Uh, especially if you're a big music fan like I am of, you know, Star Wars music, classical music, and stuff like that. Uh, really well worth doing if you have that opportunity. Uh, I'm going to pass this guy. Uh, what else can I say? So far, we lucked out with the weather. We do have snow coming into the state. Uh, it's probably not going to hit my part of the state until midnight, so that's good. So I have time to get home, uh, get unloaded, and then get everything put away uh, before I have to worry about messing with the weather. So that's good news too. So the uh, the concert itself, like I said, as I mentioned earlier in these clips, they only had one Star Wars song. So you know we were in the lobby, uh, as you saw in the, very, in the footage earlier. You know doing a meet and greet with a lot of the uh, uh, audience. At the such and good time and again hats off to Portland Symphony Orchestra they literally assigned one of the ushers to me uh, so that if one of the kids was starting to touch or you know be a little less than gentle they were there to say hey don't, don't touch uh, which is great this way I don't sound like the crazy person in the back saying don't touch him you know so and that's the thing you know when you have a droid in public uh, and it's just crazy how the kids always know how to go after the $500 lights or the $900 peak you know this ah you know, so you, you wish to share this little creature with your community, but <laughs> there's a fine line between admiring and touching and trying to destroy. Uh, that's the struggle that any person that does droid wrangling, you know, has their, their R2-D2s out in the public. And 
and frankly, you know, I know other people that also do a lot of uh, car collecting. They go to car shows, and they're always on the edge of an anxiety attack when people are, you know, playing with the mirrors, twisting the emblem on the hood, and, and things like that. So, if you figure out the proper way to tell the general club public to, hey, I don't mind you looking at it, but please be respectful of it. Don't try to destroy it, because I don't know what it is with modern parenting. A parent will sit back there with their iPhone and watch the kids bang and kick and try tugging things off of the thing, and, and think it's nothing but cute. But that said, not every kid, not every parent is like that. So unfortunately, those ones that misbehave really kind of stand out. Uh, you take for granted the ones that are respectful and nice. But enough on that rant. So two hours ago, heading home, and like I said, R2D2 worked out very, very well. I would still like to add some more things to him. I would like to get the periscope working, the lifter. I like to get the life home scanner working, and I really would love to get away from having that laptop inside and having the onboard computer inside. I know a lot of people have suggested Raspberry Pi and some other stuff. Unfortunately, all the stuff that I've programmed for my Droid is in Windows Basic, uh, Visual Basic rather. Uh, I already have the Intel NUC. I just need to buckle down and get the power uh, power packs, the uh, proper uh, uh, voltage that I need. The amperage is the big thing. It's just money, money, money. Uh, and I would literally love to be able to have that projector back inside, but again, that's kind of a dream. So it's easy to go down the path of throwing a lot of money in R2. <laughs> <laughs> like any other hobby, right? And I really need to get BB-8 going. Got a lot of questions about, hey, how's BB-8 going? Hey, it really hasn't. I'm still trying to get these printers calibrated and upgraded so I can do those pieces. So anyway, I say that to say this, that the, I thought it was an outstanding trip. The uh, uh, the folks at the, uh, Portland Symphony Orchestra really appreciated us. I say us. R2 and I being there uh, got a lot of great feedback. And it seems like we go down there every two years, so uh, it kind of felt like a, a reunion of sorts. You know, I'm back with the family, so to speak. And uh, you know, I don't perform an instrument, but uh, uh, to them, that R2D2 uh, is a real hit, and uh, they love the reactions to it. And uh, I'm looking forward to their next performance where they have a Star Wars concert. So I'm going to wrap this up for now, and uh, until we get home, catch you later. I'm home! Actually, I've been home for a couple days. I forgot to film a nice way to close out this video, so <laughs> let's pretend it's... Anyway, uh, so I'm back safe. R2 is home. Uh, everything came out great, and I gotta tell you guys, if you've never been to a symphony orchestra and heard the power of that, that, that symphony live and in person, ugh, you gotta do it. I'm totally hooked. Uh, so it was an awesome time, and I can't wait until the next time they ask me to participate because it was just that great. So. Portland Symphony Orchestra, thank you very much. You made me feel like family. I got the rock star treatment. It was great. Um, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, down here in the corner, you can click on subscribe. And boy, well, you don't want to miss all my cool videos, right? So thanks for watching. If you want to support me and my channel, there are two ways you can do so. Uh, Patreon.com forward slash where nerdy is cool is one way. There are three levels, uh, $1, $5, and $10 a month. You choose what suits you best. Um, if you're not a fan of Patreon, there's also on my YouTube homepage, uh, and there's a little video playing right now that'll tell you right where it is. What you can do is you can click on the PayPal donation and you can fill in whatever amount you want to throw me. If you want to throw me coffee money or a Dow payment on the Corvette, hey, that's up to you. So I thank you guys for your support. I thank you guys for your comments and feedback, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. And remember, this is where nerdy is cool. Stay nerdy, guys. See you later.